Hey folks, Greg here. Welcome to Modular Curiosity, my new YouTube channel. Today on episode one, we're going to learn how to download and install VCV Rack version 0.5. That's the new version that just came out this Thanksgiving. It is an awesome open source piece of software that mimics a massive, massive modular synthesizer setup. Um, a real modular synthesizer is oppressively expensive, but this is free open source software. So let's get right to it. The way we're going to do this is we're going to go to vcvrack.com. And as you can see, it comes in Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm going to install the Windows version. And it looks like we have one second, and that's it, 8.7 megabytes. That's all we're going to do. So I'm going to double click this. Yes, I want to make the change. Yes, I want to add that. And I'm going to put it in D Greg apps. Typical installation. And we're done. So now let's go to D Greg apps rack. And you can see rack.exe. Well, I'll tell you what, let's make a shortcut. We're just going to say create shortcut. There it is. We can drag it to the desktop. And now if we just double click that, we have rack. There we are. Now, if we right click, we can see that we have some modules. We have the fundamental modules. We have the core modules. And what these modules are is if you had an actual modular synthesizer, you would be buying individual modules for a voltage controlled oscillator, maybe a filter, maybe a low frequency oscillator. There's all kinds of different things that you can plug in. And we could literally just say, oh, I want one of those. I want one of these. I want one of these. And we can start dragging you know, dragging wires around and building it and getting a sound. But there are more modules than what's available here as the default. Let's go back to the website. And you'll see here, register and log in. Well, if you do register and log in, we'll have this little button down here. Now, it, could say, it says added for me because I have already registered and already logged in. So what we're going to do is this is free, by the way. Just go ahead and register. Uh, give them an email address that uh, you can be contacted at. I have never received any email from VCV Rack at all. Uh, I think it's very safe to do this. And then uh, when you click Login, you'll be able to select the Audible Instruments plugins. Just click Added here, which basically mimics the Mutable Instruments uh, modules that are available. The Bifacto, click Added Air, Grayscale, E-Series, these are all modules that can be added to VCV Rack. So let's do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and what I have done is uh, I've logged in. There's a login button here at the top of VCV Rack. I've logged in because I don't want to display my personal email up here. When you're logged in, you'll see the logout button and also this refresh plugins button. Now, you'll remember that we had the core plugins. These are things like how to set up an audio interface, you know, which is basically how do we make sound go out of VCV rack and into your computer and out your speakers? That's the audio interface. We have all these fundamental modules, these basic voltage controlled oscillators, filters, amplifiers, delays, and so on and so forth. But we would like to get all those additional plugins. So since we went back to the website and we selected added for all those uh, standard plugins, we now click refresh, re refresh, we now click refresh plugins. And you can see it's downloading them right now. There's the third one, there's E-Series, there's Grayscale. Boom. And if we now right click, look at that. We have all the Audible Instruments modules. We have all the Befacto modules. We have all the Core modules. Well, we already had Core. We have E-Series. We still have the Fundamental, and now we have Grayscale. These are all additional modules that we can put in our synthesizer. Now, it turns out that there are actually a lot more plugins that are, one, are on the main page. And to do that, we have to go back to a browser and we have to search for VCV Rack plugins. Let's do that now.
Okay, so I have searched for VCV Rack Plugins, and the very first link here is called List of Plugins, VCV Rack, and it's at a GitHub address. So we go there. Now, these are the official plugins. You don't have to reinstall these because you did that already. That's what the official ones were that you got from the, the main page. These are the third-party plugins. They are amazing. There are tons of plugins. Look at this. And I'll tell you, when 050 dropped just a week or so ago, we probably doubled the number of plugins that we can have here. So let's, let's pick the first one. And how do we install a third-party plugin? Well, it turns out that in your My Documents directory, there's a Rack a directory. And inside there, there's a Plugins directory. And this is where everything's going to go. So let's come over here. Let's pick the first one, Amalgamated Harmonics. We're going to click Download. And we can see we have a Linux version, a Mac version, and a Windows version. So let's get the Windows version. It downloads. And I'm going to simply drag that download over here to my plugins directory. Now, this is not going to work because we have to unzip it. But here's a trick on Windows 10. If we right-click it, click Open, we can see what's inside the zip file. And this is the directory right here that has to be in our plugins directory. And we know that because if we double click and go one more down, we can see there's a file called plugin DLL and a resource directory. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the directory that holds onto these files. That would be the amalgamated harmonics directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy that, go up to the plugins, and paste it in. See, that's a fast way to unzip it, because if we unzip this, it could make an Amalgamated Harmonics 053-win directory, and under that would be Amalgamated Harmonics, and so on and so forth. Now, if we come up here, we don't see it. Okay. In order to get those third-party plugins, you have to simply stop VCV Rack, open it again, and now look at that. There we go. So we've got a scale quantizer we have an arpeggiator. And we just do that for every single one of these plugins. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll get back to you in just a moment. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, I've gone through that process for every one of the third-party modules, and I've down, downloaded and installed all of them. So now, if I just go ahead and open up VCV Rack again... I'm going to delete that particular module and right click and look at all of these modules. We have tons and tons and tons of stuff to play with. Uh, my gosh, there's, I mean, low pass filters, reshape waveforms. We've got so, so, tension, function, Perlin. What do they do? I don't know. Let's play with it. Let's open it up, figure out what they do. That's what this series is going to be about, figuring out what is this whole modular synthesis thing? How do we learn how to do it? So let me delete that. That's how to get VCV Rack up and running. But now let's see how do we make an actual noise. Let's just make sure that we've installed it properly. So I'm going to go to Fundamentals, take VCO, which is Voltage Controlled Oscillator, and I'm just going to drag any of these black outputs. In, in general, the white background ones are inputs, the black backgrounds are outputs. Let's just grab a triangle wave and put it right there to one, and we don't hear a thing. Why is that? Because we don't have the proper audio driver selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to direct sound, and I'm going to say I want this to go to my speakers. And I have a sound. Now, the video is probably in mono, so you can't hear that this sound is only coming out of my left speaker. If I wanted to go out the right speaker, I put it over here, because channel 1 is left, channel 2 is right. But wait a minute, we want it to go out both speakers. Well, there's a couple ways to do that. In the next episode, we're going to show a little bit nicer way to do it. But a quick and easy way to do it right now is to go to the, let's see audible instruments and get multiples. And you can see right here we have an in, out, out, out. We have two ins, two outs, in, 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 out, three ins, one outs. What we're going to do, let's just put this over here. 
I'm going to drag one output to channel one, one output to channel two, and an output from here to the input. Boy, that's loud. And yes, it, were, it came out of both sides of the speakers, both speakers. So that's how to get, not stereo, but mono out of both speakers. In episode two, we're going to go a little bit deeper than that. Your assignment so far is to go download VCV Rack and install all the plugins and see if you can get some noise. All right, see you next episode.